Hello everyone, welcome to Insights IS. I wish you guys are doing excellent. I wish you guys are practicing at least two to three questions based on mains and 20 to 30 prelims questions on daily basis. If you guys don't do this kind of exercise, obviously the prelims and mains exam would be much more tougher for you. Guys, just think a while when you will clear the most respected exam that is civil services. Can't you see the happiness and hope in the eyes of your parents and friends? When the day, the day when you will clear the civil services exam, the kind of goosebumps you will feel, for that you have to work hard. Guys, civil services is such a kind of exam, after clearing this, you will be looked upon with great hope and admiration by the people who are dreaming of a new and resurgent India, a powerful and prosperous India, a self-sustaining and confident India. Guys, don't lose your hope. Guys, don't reduce your energy level. Keep it always high. In that thing, let's move to our first topic that is EPCA. That is Environment Pollution Control Authority. Guys, in 2014, WHO, that is World Health, Health Organization, conducted a survey and found that New Delhi is the most polluted city in the world. After that, our government of India and Supreme Court became much more active pertaining to the serious pollution. So, in that light, recently de uh, declared public health emergency in New Delhi because the uh, air pollution has increased much more after the Diwali celebrations. That is, air quality index has crossed uh, more than 500. So, it has now included in severe pollution category. In that light, Supreme Court mandated this body under the order of 1998. And this, uh, this EPCA was constituted by government under Environment Protection Act 1986. And its function is to protect and improve environment, prevent and control environment pollution in NCR region. It acts on complaints and it has the power to take sumoto cognizance on the issue of pollution. And it mandated to enforce GRAP. So regarding that uh, GRAP, what is GRAP? That is Graded Response Action Plan and we are going to discuss that topic in the second topic. So, government action so far has been odd even scheme in Delhi. And another is environment compensation charge that is ECC at toll plaza. Under that, we will cover Supreme Court directed green tax. And it is a type of cess to raise funds for specific purpose which has no legislative backup. Guys, the cess has been mentioned. I am asking you what is the difference between cess and surcharge. CES is an additional tax collected for purpose of creating funds that are marked for a specific purpose. On the other hand, surcharge is the additional tax payable over and above the normal tax. So, uh, what are the examples of CES and surcharge you find? Please mention in the comment box. So, after that we will cover uh, distribution of N95 mask under ECC. What is this N95 mask? And N stands for not resistance to oil based aerosols. And 95 stands for efficiency removing 0.3 micrometer particles. And guys, if you are staying in Delhi and if you are traveling in metro every day, please use this N95 mask. Let's move to the next topic that is graded response action plan. That is also known as GRAP. What does it mean by graded? That is the basic nature is incremental. Incremental in the sense when the pollution level is very low, it will not take that much cognizance. When the pollution level is high, obviously it will take some cognizance. When the pollution level is very very high, it will take actions regarding the cities where the pollution is going to take place. It was approved by Supreme Court in 2016 and notified by Center in 2017. It institutionalizes the measures needed to uh, be taken when air quality is deep. Uh, this incremental in nature rolls out progressively tougher actions when pollution increases. 
when air quality shifts to very poor then measures need to be taken and it works only as emergency measures just remember only as emergency measures it was coordinated among four ncr states known as delhi up haryana and rajasthan the great success of this was shutting down badarpur thermal power plant uh, actually uh, in comment box mention where is the location of badarpur thermal power plants is it delhi up haryana rajasthan guys we are bringing bs6 norms uh, recently to uh, make the air pollution less and the energy consumption much more effective so guys mention in comment box when we are going to implement bs6 norms so another is ban on pet coke as fuel in ncr also is promote uh, is also is implemented the next topic is iip that is the index of industrial production and it was in recent news so what is iip it is an index which shows the growth rates in different industry group of the economy in a stipulated period of time so there is three indexes one is iip another is wpi another is cpi the iip is computed and published by the naso that is national statistical office under ministry of uh, statistics and program implementation on monthly basis so guys remember cpi is uh, calculated by central statistical organization and wpi that is wholesale price index is calculated by office of economic advisor under ministry of commerce and industry so this is very very important guys remember it and please guys mention in comment box which uh, which one that is cpi wpi and iip how many commodities are covered under each please mention in the comment box currently the base year has been shifted to 2011-12 from 2004-5 the eight core industries that is the weightage is 40.27 percent it is very important remember it and if we calculate in a decreasing order of their weightage the first is refinery products now the second is electricity then steel coal crude oil natural gas cement and in last it will come fertilizers actually guys it may change also after two three months when the exam will be there just before prelims check the status of these industries guys the next issue is our unesco's network of creative cities in comment box please mention where is the headquarter of unesco is let's move to the topic that is united nations educational scientific and cultural organization has included mumbai on the basis of films and hyderabad as the basis of gastronomy in its network of creative cities among the 66 cities selected on the occasion of world cities day 2019 guys what is gastronomy gastronomy is an art of choosing cooking and eating very nice foods guys must khana khane ka must padne ka pura so jane ka that is should be the best motto of our life we should enjoy our life if you go to hyderabad guys you will find best hyderabadi biryani karachi bakery mutton halim etc etc i want to try to diverge you let's stick to the topic and that is world cities 2019 falls on 31st october okay always remember the two cities mumbai for films and hyderabad for gastronomy earlier indian cities like chennai and varanasi have been included in unesco cities of music while jaipur has been included in the city of crafts and folk arts the four cities always remember it it can be a possible prelim question so next is unesco creative cities network that is uccn which was created in 2004 the unesco creative cities aims to achieve sustainable development goals that is sdg 11 through innovative thinking and action the network covers seven creative fields that is crafts and folk arts media arts of uh, film design gastronomy literature and music guys i uh, i have already covered that is world cities day uh, was celebrated in 31st october so on that line 
the United Nations General Assembly has designated the 31st of October as World Cities Day. So the theme of the World Cities Day 2019 is, always remember it carefully, changing the world, innovations and a better life for future generations. Again I am saying the theme of World Cities Day is the changing the world, innovations and a better life for future generations. It can be a possible prelim questions. The next issue is new important institutions institutes in Ladakh region. So guys remember after this article 370 removal uh, Ladakh region and Jammu Kashmir region is in news. So uh, there can be a possible prelim mains or essay question always keep in mind. So UNFCC approved the proposal of new regional center of the GB Pant Institute of Himalayan Environment and Development at Ladakh to promote alternative and innovative livelihoods for climate change vulnerable cold desert communities. Where is the headquarter of GB Pant National Institute of Himalayan Environment and Sustainable Development? It is in Uttarakhand, always remember it. Ministry of Development of North Eastern Region uh, uh, sorry, Council will set up new bamboo technology parks in Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh Union territories. It is for to replicate bamboo cultivation and will be in consonance with the national bamboo mission. Guys, uh, mention uh, the parent organization of national bamboo mission and when it was created the which year it was created and what is the basic significance of national bamboo mission please mention in comment box so guys i already already i have discussed that whenever a topic is coming to you please try to think a prelims and mains question if in this line we will try to think a uh, mains question the question can be like this what is the significance of ladakh region to indian people what, can, uh, what are those measures taken by government so far to keep the relation of Ladakhi and Indian people intact and to promote cultural uh, things in world arena? Any kind of question you can think. It may be political, it may be economical. If you essay topic, you can, uh, you can make an essay question like that. Uh, mean the destiny, yeah, the destiny of uh, uh, mean Ladakh and Jammu Kashmir, Kashmir people, and uh, their geographical and uh, that is strategic significance. It can be as a topic as well. In that line, you have to think, just think, so that it will be easier for you to think and remember those points which are very very necessary for the men's point of view. So let's move to the next topic that is Score JX 2019 exercise. That is Shanghai Cooperation Organization, uh, um, Joint Exercise on Urban Earthquake Search and Rescue is the acronym of this. So it will be held from 4 to 7 November 2019 in New Delhi. The joint exercise is being hosted by National Disaster Response Force that is NDRF. The objective is to rehearse the, the disaster response mechanism, share knowledge, experience and technology for mutual coordination. All the eight SEO member countries will be participating like India, Pakistan, China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. Guys, whatever international organization are there, when you will find that less than 20 member countries are there in any organization, there may be a possible of making a question in prelims in UPSC. So, try to remember now SEO only is less countries are there, it can be a possible question. Guys, properly mark it up. So, uh, that's it for today and uh, have a nice day. Take care, study well. Bye.